session number 40 will extend on into one or two more videos. And the purpose of this is to review the terminology uh, for argument analysis. To review the terminology for argument analysis. All right, this is a good chance for me to talk to you since I never get to do that. And so it will take a little longer, but I want to set you on a good course for what you'll have to do in the new year. You've had a little bit of experience with each of the three types of essays. Argument or any type of stylistic analysis, argument, ana argument analysis, so that's one type, analysis. Another is writing argument. And another is sentencing argument. So you have to master those three types of essays and you have to master uh, multiple choice section of the test. So there's a lot to do in this new year, and it will not help you to cut corners, to um, copy out your neighbor. Yes, you can work together on some things, but the more you do your own work, the better. Right? Um, I hope that you will work hard in this new year to bring your skills up to the level they need to be by May. So we really have four months. Seems like a long time, but we just it will go very fast. So you'll be doing a lot more writing and a fair amount of uh, multiple choice testing. But our focus today is argument analysis as one of the two types of analysis or one, one essay you're going to have. We don't know if it'll be more stylistic analysis or more argument analysis or a mix. All right. So we're getting back into that. And before I even go into this passage, which you have read before and I have made a video on, um, I want to just review, like, if you get a new passage, then you have to write about it. You're always going to find techniques that support the author's purposes and meaning. So you need to be able to identify techniques. So I want to go over what all those techniques might be. But here's one thing you do not want to do on the argument analysis or stylistic analysis. It is not considered analysis simply to take a statement out of the passage, a sentence, a clause, a phrase, and say, well, this sentence means this. That's not analysis in any high level. We're really only interested explaining the indirect techniques that support the meaning, the tone, right? The meaning or the tone. You're always going to have to find the meaning of the passage and the tone or the tones. So what you do first is find the meaning and the tones. Then you can understand what is working towards creating that message indirectly. So, let's just review before we go into this passage. What are some of your options for, for techniques to find specifically argument-based techniques? Well, you have the three appeals. Logos, ethos, pathos. Right? Appeal to logos is a very, is, is logic. It doesn't have to be a syllogism, which is deductive reasoning, which is very logical. But um, reasonableness, you know, that's also part of logic. Um, you know, following a train of thought that makes sense. Uh, it can be that simple. So appeals to ethos, pathos, logos. Logos, I was just explaining. Ethos, what is it? It's building up 